overjoyed when they found out eight years ago they could adopt a baby girl in Ethiopia. Now she is thriving and last year they got a surprise. On the day she was born in her village, there was another baby, her twin brother. While well, the journey to meet him is something to see along with what they want to do now. My name is Azalea Matiki Hadea William. And why are we here in Ethiopia right now? To meet my um, birth dad and my brother Matiku. The journey from Portland, Oregon to a small village in Ethiopia for Azalea and her mom Sophie was a year in the making. It started after Sophie sent pictures of Azalea to her birth father. Azalea's birth mom died during the delivery. In return, Sophie received a video from the dad. He said, talking about his wife, you know, when she gave birth to twins and it was like, we were completely shocked because I'm like, what? I can't get it going back. <laughs> and then the whole story unfolded with more and more information. It turned out Azalea had a twin brother, Matiku, that Azalea's adoptive family never knew about. That led to this much planned trip, lining up translators, transportation, and getting vaccines to visit the remote village to meet Azalea's birth father and brother. I felt as a mom, even though I can't claim this child as my own, he has his own family, I did feel a part of my heart, you know, being given to that child. Over the next few days, Sophie noticed Matiku may have some of the same hearing and medical issues Azalea had when she was younger. Yeah, what do you think? When they returned home to Portland, they knew they had to do something to help Matiku. They set up a GoFundMe page to raise money for his medical costs, and then they took it a step further. We're raising funds to um, bring new education material, train teachers, and build toilet there so that girls can go to school because now, right now, um, when girls are menstruating, they have to stop school. So far, they've raised more than half of their $60,000 goal. Sophie says they consider Matiku and his village part of their family now. This is family. Well, there is so much more to that story. You should really check out the entire GoFundMe video that they've made. We have a link to that on coin.com. Now, in case you're wondering, Azalea was sick and was dying as a baby. And after her father walked miles and miles, found a hospital, they placed her up for adoption out of love and desperation. Which is why the twins were separated. Right. And the family, again, never even knew about him until last year. So, yeah. yeah great, great story. Yeah. Mm -hmm.